R101. Video number six, time series plot with ggplot2 and I am going to uh, describe how you can easily shade an area and you can annotate that area. And in this plot, you will find a graph like this at the end of your, uh, at the end of this video that how you can have this graph or any time series graph, any macroeconomic series graph with shaded area and annotation on it. That's what we are going to describe here and all data code links are given. So you don't need to be worried about where are the data and how we'll get it. So this is I'm going to describe here that you need to recall the libraries. Recalling library is just like switching on bulb and installing packages is just like uh, installing a uh, bulb. So library read Excel, janitor for uh, variable name cleaning, GG theme for New York, Tufte 538.com theme and reading CSV file, we need library read R. So here I'm going to read this data G and I'm going to assign this name GDP PK or read CSV. All this link is given and you'll see that I have assigned a pipe operator here, control shift M and I have uh, cleaned the names and GDP PK. So you have now these, uh, this data with you, date, growth, regime, regime we don't need any of. So uh, in ggplot, the first thing, first argument is always that ggplot data plus AES, X, date, Y, growth, geom line. This size is basically what is the size of that line. If you, uh, you, uh, you don't give it, it will make uh, it by default. So this is your GDP growth rate uh, plot and uh, line size uh, is 1.2. Now you want to fit a line on it. So if you are going to write down geom smooth and you are going to write method LM, so it will give you a straight line method equal lm it will fit up uh, and just i am going to uh, ignore other things as well so if plus signs comes in the uh, line next to it so it will not be a command so now you see Okay, method LM, standard error false, color red, uh, basically this one. So you see it's a straight line, but if I remove this one, no, it's a non-parametric regression. No, uh, now comes how we can shade these areas, how can we annotate these areas. So we have first area, from 1972 to 1977, basically this is on horizontal axis and on y axis I don't need any limit. So y min and y max is from lower limit to upper limit. I have, I am going to shade this red and alpha is basically your transparency. You can increase this transparency or you can decrease it. Then again, plus next shaded area, 1978 to plus and you have filled it with orange plus geom rectangle next shaded area plus shaded area. So anything after plus you can take it to new line or you can even switch it back and you can have here as well. So you can you can uh, uh, have on one line but it's better that it should be neat clean. So we have now this all these areas which we want to shade. It's not necessary you need to shade all this and next comes yes plus no i am going to annotate that no i am going to annotate that so geom text 1972 i am going to write that this is people's pakistan people's party next i am going to uh, uh, annotate it in black color next 1978 i am going to annotate it in uh, you see red area and you can you can have this geom text and everything so just just this is uh, the replication of that just for next area for next area and then plus labs x element title subtitle caption 
and I am writing here theme Tufte. I think Tufte is uh, one of the uh, called father of data visualization and we have uh, know this graph just run it you will have all this nice graph and you can see that uh, this is the graph which we were talking about uh, in our uh, start of the video and you can you can work with this uh, it's very simple to make all codes are available and in case of any issue please just comment on video link uh, i'll try to respond it thank you for watching take care